In this video, I want to talk a little bit about why we practice scales at the piano. So one of the reasons is you want to develop finger dexterity, you want to be able to move your fingers around the keyboard easily and be able to um, successfully perform certain things. But also, one of the things that I think is best about playing scales is you sort of learn to see scales and learn to ski um, keys on the piano more easily. So, for instance, the piano is all set up basically so that the white keys play the C major scale. And what that means is that the pattern of, uh, of a major scale, which is, starts with two whole steps, then has a half step, three whole steps, and then one more half step to complete the octave on top, well, that happens to be all the white keys on the piano. So that's the C major scale. And what I want you to do is I want you to start practicing scales first by actually chording them like this. Being able to find the scale by looking at the keyboard and sort of seeing all the notes, seeing the intervals that separate each pitch, and kind of being able to play them all at once as a chord. So if we take another scale, say A flat, so we're starting here on A flat now, start to think, okay, there's a whole step, another whole step, here's our first half step, so I'm not going to go straight from this white key to this black key, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And this is a good way to just be able to see these scales on the keyboard, here's F, Here's A, here's E, just allows me to see them even before I play them. So practice that a little bit in addition to practicing the scales in one hand um, in a kind of melodic ascending and descending fashion.